The second ICIT I attended was in 1973 in Ashkelon, Israel. And one day we had the excursion to the Masada. And I saw this tall, imposing, bearded at the time guy climbing up. I said, who is this? He told me, Tom Cover. That's when I first met Tom. And many, many little instances through the 40 years that have elapsed from since then that stand out in my mind, and I like to quickly mention them. 75 in Moscow, a workshop. The US delegation, after lots of tribulations that made it possible, arrive in Moscow at 4 p.m. after a long flight. The Russians take us to a big banquet with wine, Georgian wine, champagne, they call it champagne, <laughs> and caviar at the time and all kinds of goods. We go back in the hotel at midnight and they give us the program the next morning, 8.30 a.m. or so, first talk, Tom Cover. Tom sits all through the night on a couch in the lobby, contemplating what he will present. He gave a great talk and then vanished for the rest of the day. <laughs> 83, in a NATO advanced study institute in France. In the weekend, that's a two-week meeting. Between the two weeks, I had a car, and I asked Tom if he wanted to accompany me touring Bordeaux wineries, and we did that. And he bought a 1955 Sautern from a vendor in the street. It was like an ice cream vendor, was selling great Sauternes. I guess 2004 or thereabout in Northern Italy with Sergio, with Ezio and some others and Karen, we go to the Pescatore restaurant. We had a fabulous dinner. Well, the dinners that we enjoyed with Tom are just too numerous. I'd like to mention one last thing, and the St. Petersburg ICIT last August. I had a lunch with him and some very interesting conversation. You know, Tom, among all things, he also knew and understood physics. And I was puzzled recently when I had read that you can do computation with zero energy expenditure. And I asked Tom, how can that be explained? I, I don't know enough physics to make ends of it. And he gave me such a typically clear and nice answer over lunch. He said, what you do is you borrow a lot of energy as you do that, and then you give it back. So you need to have access to an unlimited amount of energy, but in the end, you spend none. And finally, in the ITA, we had dinner at the banquet, and Tom with Karen and other good friends around the table. We had just the same as usual, an enjoyable dinner with the right humor that you saw, and this warm personality that is simply irreplaceable. This ICIT will not be like the others. He's a big absent.